Hey, what's up, guys? Alex here with the... I was going to say anime, manga, and game news, but it's not. We're into podcast number eight, and we're going to be talking about the new summer anime season of 2015, which has pretty much just started. I am joined by Jimmy Me. Hello. And also George, who Hello. used to be known as the Infamous Villain, but for some reason he's changed his name um, yes, on sure. Twitter. <laughs> what would we do if we were talking what his real nickname is now? What would it be? <laughs> I don't if know. I say, if I say it enough, it comes true. It would, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I was wondering how long that was going to take. <laughs> it's, our, it's our Bubba. <laughs> you can't leave Bubba out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I guess we'll we'll start off with what we usually start off with. So what have, what have you been like? doing in the past it's been like over a month so since we've done a proper uh podcast like it's probably been like six weeks maybe wow maybe a bit longer because we did like a in the middle of the season once we watched a couple of episodes didn't we so uh do you want to go first george um what what you been up to what you've been reading wow what what i've been up to i've I've finished school (laughs) well well, fair Um, enough but yeah, no, I've, I've, I haven't been watching a ton of anime because I got Witcher, so I've been just playing that constantly. Um, I need to start that myself. Oh, you do, Jamie. It's, it's insane. It's I, th- I think I'm gonna skip it. Like it's one of them games where I'll buy it and I'll play it a bit and I won't finish it. So if I skip, oh it, no, then... no, Alex, you should get it. <laughs> it's, it's so good. It's so, so good. It's finish. insane. I'd rather not add another uh, one to that pal. But you would, you will be like, you will be running around for ages in it. Like, I'm just, just there's so much to do. Like, you, you go into the, a new part, and there's like a hundred new little things to do, <laughs> little side quests, places to explore, people to speed it. Oh, it takes forever, but it's really good. It yeah. looks stunning as well. Yeah, I've watched my friend play it, so it does look yeah. good. But yeah, I've just been playing. That <laughs> and I haven't been reading any manga whatsoever, and I've only kind of watched the the end of a few shows from last season oh, started right. a couple from the new one and just watched fate zero <laughs> yeah, fair enough not bad any good the ending i uh, know that i watched um half of fate zero all of fate stay and i and the unlimited blades movie that they did i enjoyed them a bit but yeah, it's no, just fate... one of those things where gone oh, sorry yeah fate zero is definitely it's in my top five of best anime. It was nice. I loved it. I absolutely. I'm gonna have to watch it. that. It was really good. I'll have to watch first really season of that first. I don't know, really. It's a prequel. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's set. I think ten years before Fate Stay Night. All right. Um, but like I watched the Unlimited Blade Works first, the the one that aired last yeah, year, yeah. Initially, and mm-hmm. then I went to fate zero but you can watch them either way really like stay night does spoil uh, some stuff that happens in zero mm. but there's still a lot that catches you off guard you know mm. but yeah that's all i've what i've been up to really fair enough what about you jimmy what you've been up to i know you've well, been, uh, sorry kick, like do, starting stuff out with your kickstart still and things like that yeah, I've been working away on that. Sometimes I feel like I'm locked in my like workroom constantly for days on end and I lose track of time and space. But I have surprisingly read a ton of uh, manga and watched quite a fair bit of anime on the anime front. The Probably the, the one that most people got caught off guard by is Dragon Ball Super. That was... Yeah, weird to say the least that they decided to make a sequel series not based on any manga, but with the input of the original manga, you know, writer and yeah. like the best thing that about the first episode was I actually read um, so so someone is making a manga based on you know Dragon Ball Super, All right. and the manga. Like, I read that, and then I watched the anime, and the anime, first episode back, keep in mind, Mm. had filler in it. (laughs) It was one of the most amazing things ever. I'm watching it, and I've read the manga, and I'm like, okay, you know, what the hell's going on here? Uh, (laughs) Uh, But the basic idea is that Goku, uh, again, didn't get credit for beating Boo. Yeah, I've watched it, yeah, yeah. 
So now he's got a job and everything, and but he's got some cash and he's going to be allowed to train mm. for a new threat, which I don't really understand if this is all set before the movie with, you know, the God <sighs> character. I, Ben, my friend Ben is a really big Dragon Ball Z fan and he's watched it and I, bear in mind, I haven't watched Dragon Ball properly. Mm. So it's like... I watched it and I had no idea what the hell was going on because I said someone was like, isn't this set after the film? Like, the two films that have just happened? Because even the new film, which nobody in America has seen yet because it's in cinemas August 4th, mm. 12th, something like that. And, like, apparently you can't even get, like, a... I don't know, it's, like, legal, but you can't even get a torrent for it yet. So it's yeah. like... So if this is set afterwards, the only people in Japan who can see it, like, can see the film, but, um, like it's on Funimation in America so like hmm. how how is this supposed to work and I watched it and I had no idea what the hell was going on <laughs> like in the timeline and I said to Ben I was like I don't get it it just seems it seems like it's going to be another one of these animes where they didn't need to make it but they've done it just for the nostalgia and to get people like thingy and Ben was like no 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 like being proper defensive about it I just, no as, it is as, a nostalgia thing be. all the new Dragon yeah. Ball Z content I'd, all I'd fully him, based like, on what's nostalgia what's going on and he's like oh well there's these seven universes <laughs> and the god guy's just going around doing his job because apparently he's got a destruction so he's just going around destroying planets anyway left right and centre and uh, <laughs> apparently like I don't know this is some new threats and like bigger than the god of destruction, like the god of all gods of the seven universe. I don't know. <laughs> it sounds, it sounds weird, and I don't know if I'm gonna have the patience to watch it because I'm not a big Dragon Ball Z fan. As yeah. it is, well, this is the problem with all the the big titles that the they get silly after a while. One Piece, Naruto, Dragon Ball yeah. Z, Fairy Tale. It's just this constant Bleach. escalation. Bleach. 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 Yeah, yeah, sorry, Bleach. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you get it where it's like, okay, you've beaten this guy who was supposed yeah. to be the best. And then it's like, okay, but this guy was waiting in the wings and he's secretly the best. But, oh, wait, there's the, another guy. And it's just problem, like, yeah, wow. The problem that I feel with some of them is trying to keep that power, the level, the power level of the like the main character like down enough to sell. <laughs> like, it doesn't seem like he's completely overpowered straight off the bat. Bleach did a terrible job of that. Like, they pretty much said, yeah, these are the kind of... Ability. These are like the four main factions that are in the series. Like, it goes with one every single one of them. So he's just a nah. boss. Like that's pretty much how that went. Whereas like One Piece is a little bit different to the point where it's like, right? Yeah, they just make it up as they go along. Lot... <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it kind of works a little bit better because you don't know where the end point is. If you know what I mean, it's like. He's, he's well, just, I guess. he's just been fighting Doflamingo, and this guy, like, mm. is like, a boss. Like, if you know what I mean, he's, like, really strong, and Luffy's still got to beat him, and it looks, in the manga, it looks like he still wasn't going to beat him, but, he, I mean, he did, because, of course, he was going to. But, like, there's still people who are a hell of a lot stronger in the world, you know what I mean? And it's like, how can you try and keep things fresh when it's been going on for so long? Um, well, none of them do, do they? No. But they've got such big fan bases yeah, that it it's just it's, it's one of those weird arguments. It's like in a perfect world, um, you know, uh, like the Kardashian show wouldn't be getting more ratings than like yeah. I don't know, worldwide than Lufa, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, which is incredibly written, but yeah, it is what it is. But... Just been watching that, so it's really good. Ah, oh, that's a fantastic show. What have I been? Uh... But yeah, anyway, what was what? What you been watching and reading? <laughs> so Dragon Ball Super. That were that, I mean, that's like done and dusted now. I don't really expect much out of that. What I well, you at least need to watch the second episode. No, yeah, I will. I'll watch it all. Me, because like I say, it's selling nostalgia. Episode, you know, Vegeta <laughs> at a family vacation place. Like oh little, god don't little start little, that's the biggest fear when your favorite train. character is vegeta you can't trust the creator to get it right <laughs> mm. uh, but uh the biggest new anime that i've watched is gangster that's a really good one yes, we'll talk yeah. about that later. and um i mean i read the first manga i yeah, i enjoyed that i thought that mm. Like I, I did think when I read it that oh this is you know this will be an anime and I think it yeah. probably suit an anime better than it will a manga. 
you know, yeah, for, probably. yeah, it just seemed like one of those titles where, you know, when you're in a manga, I don't, maybe the manga seemed a little slow in places. I can't remember fully, but I do it's, remember there was something a bit off yeah, on me with the manga. Yeah, it's one of them things where you can, there's something Easily not, float away from it. Yeah, like the anime is, is like, it flows better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's better animated than it is written down. <laughs> Mm, it's very unapologetic about how gritty its own storyline as well is. Yeah. I mean, you could imagine half the themes in this, the try and sugarcoat and make nice themes. Yes. I mean, the opening, I mean, the bit with the um, one of the three main characters being a prostitute and how horrific mm-hmm. the portrayed being a, posh, yeah. being a prostitute instead of trying to, you know, sugarcoat it or anything. And it was just like, yeah. oh, God, that is horrible. And, you know, that's closer to reality but than what a lot different. of things are. that's what's good about it like yeah you don't get a lot of them like that like this one seems a bit more realistic well it is a lot more realistic than a lot of the other stuff that's on this season mm, I, I mean there's a lot of stuff that i that probably won't even pick up but yeah. like i have watched more than i usually do i'm trying to think what else i've uh I watched the Code Geass uh, over. It yeah. were it were okay, but again, it's one of those weird things where you. I know it's hard for me to say because I'm a massive Code Geass fan, but <laughs> when you expand things to a point where maybe, arguably, they shouldn't have. Yeah. You know, at this stage, it's pretty obvious that people want to see something after Code Geass's yeah. second season. And then when you're putting stuff in the middle and it's like, it's like the, it's nowhere near as bad as Saw, just for the record. But you know how like the Saw films, they had a very simple premise to begin with. And then they tried, they filled in every single gap yeah. they could find with, oh, this is why that happened. And you're better oh. off leaving things to people's imagination yeah. sometimes, yeah. And, but at the same time. Some of the storylines are quite interesting. The soundtrack, as per usual, is phenomenal. The battling's great. But yeah, I mean, I wouldn't complain if they scrapped the Akito storyline for like a season three. I'd have much preferred that. <laughs> Manga wise, uh, Dead Man Wonderland. I've caught right. up with the latest volume of that. I read that religiously is that still now. Going? Yeah, mm. as far as... The manga finished? I, I don't think know the if it's manga finished in finished. Japan. In Japan it's uh, finished, I think. Over here they got the salvaged version, didn't they? Where they rescued the license from the evil clutches of... Yes. I think what it Tokyo Pop that went out of yeah, business. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I love it, me. Every time you read a volume, the storyline flows really nicely. The graphics yeah, really are crazy. Good. The anime seemed pretty good. Like I watched that and I enjoyed it, and I was like, "So when second up, second season quiz, is like, don't know." <laughs> it's like, "Oh, but it's quite yeah." Good. I mean, I watched the anime, and then that led me to read the manga, which was a lot different to the anime. Mm. They definitely they did an anime, yeah, only, yeah, but they I've, really butchered it. I think it. near the end, yeah, um, <laughs> blue exorcist so, it. <laughs> I, I can't. I, I was reading it, and I think I got about halfway, and then I kind of just forgot about it. So I need. I'll probably mm. start from the beginning again. Um. Because it was definitely was good. I liked what mm. I did read of it. It does get must read eventually. Like the last three volumes in particular. So you've got eight, seven, and six have just been like it's just been a fight continuously with you know like storyline progressing still, and yeah. it's difficult to do that. Like you know, there's nothing worse than false starts in these kind of things where it's like you're expecting it. Like if I had to have one criticism of Seraph, it would be that it's like, Oh, we're going to have a big fight, but we're calling it off at day now, <laughs> yeah. you know? And it's like, Oh, come on, scrap, you know, but dead man wonderland don't have any problems with that. Like they save a few of these big fights, but you know, they make it so that a lot of the characters collide continuously and you just, don't know who's going to die and when so you know i enjoy reading that quite considerably it's it's up there with my favorite like my favorite read-alongs at the moment i read siren as well like that's a really old one by today's standards but i'm enjoying that as well that's a 
criminally underrated shonen title that suffered from being published at the same time when Naruto, One Piece and Bleach were in the height of the... Oh, Siren, I finished uh, that manga. That is really good. That I think that would really like benefit from an anime. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's good. It's really I'm good. I'm only on the... I'm on about volume 8 but I just I read a volume of that like I pick a volume up of that and it's like gone by end of day yeah. usually <laughs> it's, uh, it's just I think it did from what I can tell when you read between the lines it were just unfortunate that when it yeah. were, but like if it came out now if it started a fresh release schedule from oh, now yeah. I think it'd you know all popular. yeah all the um, Hunger much... Games fans would be oh, jumping yeah, on would. it and it very much feels like a that kind of thing like when I was reading it I was like this is this is like I'm, like you get the feeling of like when you start watching a series which has been going like you you know a really popular series which mm. is quite good like when you read the manga for like One Piece and Bleach and stuff and you and like fairy tale and you there's like a feeling of like this is good like this is pretty good content like this should it feels like that same kind of thing if you know what i mean it's like you mm. can't explain it really yeah it's it's it just seems like disappointing because i know that the ending like i don't know the ending sorry but i know that it didn't end on its own terms but at the same time maybe some of the best works, or most impactful works ever, have been done that way. So, yeah. you know, I'll judge it by reading it and not like focusing on the fact that it got pushed off a cliff before it wanted to jump. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think apart from that, that's pretty much like me done. Really, I mean, I read tons of comics, but <laughs> I wouldn't have time to list all of those. So, <laughs> what have you been reading and watching, Alex? Fair enough. So yeah, the uh, previous season finished, so I'm just literally going through all the things that I watched in the last season. Uh, uh, yeah, our, yeah, Harry, or I know, Session, Love Comedy, my romantic teen life comedy, Snafu, whatever it's called, it's a, it's a <laughs> very long title. The second season of that uh, finished, that, that was really good, I enjoyed it, just as good as the first season. Um, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? That was completely different to what I thought it was going to be, it was still... It still had the typical like anime fan service in it, but it actually mm. seemed like a sort of online that I was expecting. Oh, my phone's going off. Jesus Christ. <laughs> silent. That's brilliant. Silent. That is brilliant. Tesco got freaking Greninja. I hope that gets picked up that. on the podcast. That one got up. <laughs> Tesco Direct, I'm buying that goddamn amoeba. Right, sorry. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I watched that. I I, I can't do two things at once. Um, <laughs> uh, right. It's all That's right, Alex. It. You buy your amoeba. Um, <laughs> oh, I've just got the Splatoon figure. Oh, Jesus Christ! Why are you doing this to me? God damn it, Adam! <laughs> um, it's in my basket, so hopefully I should get it. I'll quick do a quick rundown. Yeah, Shokugeki no Soma, that's really good. That's still going. Um, that's basically what I wanted it to be. <laughs> it's, they're pretty much the same as uh, the manga, and it's coming across pretty damn well in animated form. As I well. don't even know what that is, me. All I saw were a clip of them all dancing or something. Dancing? I don't know. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing. I saw a lineup of characters like doing a line dance for that title I thought it was and I thought oh, I can't be bothered oh, yeah. but I'm um, starting to get the wrong what's the storyline about? it's a cooking thing no um, oh, never mind I know what you're on about now I thought you were on about this other title uh, what was you talking about? oh god what's this that one with oh, bloody hell, I can't oh, remember for sake, I missed out <laughs> <laughs> are you a big fan of line dancing? um <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like such passion for a line dancing anime. It's like all right, fair uh, enough. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, Chill out, I no, I um, <laughs> Sarah, for the end, I stopped watching. I'm gonna pick it up. I don't know. It just there's a part of it where I was just like, I was gonna watch it, like on Viewster, and then it was like the episodes <laughs> weren't coming out like on time and stuff. So it kind of ju- that that really bugs me when that happens. Mm. It's like if they're not coming out on time every single week, like I can't be bought. I'll I'll watch it when I get around to it. Like that's what I see it as. Same with uh, 
Heroic Legend of Aslan. Both really good titles, and I just couldn't, I couldn't like watch it because it was just thinking I'm probably just gonna like just watch them all in a bulk at some point and just get through that. Plastic Memories. Did you? I know you were watched it, Jerry, but did you watch that, George? Um, I watched the first two. That, that was quite good. That was like. I wasn't expecting it to be as, like, feely as it is, like, as <laughs> it feels. Like, one wasn't quite as sad as Clan Ad, but it was, like, it probably could have been if it, like, it kind of ended on a happy note and it shouldn't have done. It should have just ended it when, like, five minutes before the end of the episode. But, um, yeah, it was still really good. Um, Blood Blockade, Battlefront, me and George talked about that. That's, uh, the, the That's the one I run about. Is that the, the one with the dancing? Oh, and the ending, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, it's not about dancing. Um, <laughs> they're, they've put off the last episode of that because it's going to be like, the last episode is going to be like an hour to 40 minutes long or something like that. Nice. And because they're pretty much turned around and I'm really glad that they've done this, it's like, yeah, we don't want to put one episode out and then the next episode of the finale a week later, we want it all to be one big thing. So they pretty much haven't Is it got that us... good then? I really enjoy it. And that's one that I'm thinking different. about going it's, back to. It's very different, but it's enjoyable. It's funny. It's serious. Like, and the one of the main characters is voiced by uh, the guy who voices Zora. So it's that's always in One Piece. That's always <laughs> it's always interesting. But yeah, it's 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 really good, and it's like it's set in New York as well. So it's interesting. Um. But the finale of that is coming when it's damn ready, I guess. They're trying to get it into a slot in Japanese TV, but obviously it's a lot harder when everything's scheduled. Um, Hibike Euphonium, Sound Euphonium, that was really good. That was um, Kyoto Animation's latest thing. Um, mm. Nihilish was uh, posting about that. Uh, so I don't know how they're going to top the cells. It's like, it was good, and it was actually really interesting because it's uh, all like orchestrated music. Um, so that was actually really interesting, and it it works. Really well. um, there's probably going to be a second season of that. The Triage X, I watched that. It was typical Triage X. What I was expecting, like pretty damn. Uh, all the female characters have massive boobs, and the main character seems like a boss. Um, My Love Story, that was pretty good. That's just like a typical like comedy romance shoujo thing. Uh, that was good. It's still going on, isn't it? Yeah, I believe so. It's carrying on. Um, Punchline. That. The ending to that was really sad, and it, in a good way. That, like, but the whole build-up to it seemed ri- too comedy, like, too comedy-esque, like, to the point where it was, like, ridiculous. And But it was good. I'd recommend watching it if you're going to watch it all in one go and not, like, skip bits because you will probably just, if you don't watch it all in one go, you will probably just be like, yeah, don't want to watch the rest of that. Yeah, I watched the first episode of it, Yeah, and I just didn't, I don't know. It didn't. I it's really thought, interesting it's what me, happens, but... but like to be fair, the last six episodes are the better episodes. So if you can manage to power through the first six, you'll probably enjoy it. Um, and uh, Yamada-kun and the Seven Witches—that was really good. Um, a lot different to what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a typical like a uh, guy and all the girls fancy him, which it kind of is, but it's not at the same time. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'm not going to try and explain what it is because I've gone on for quite a long time. In terms of manga, uh, Tokyo Ghoul, I read through the first volume of that because that came out in the UK recently. And just Shun and Jump um, and Fairy Tale and Attack on Titan when that comes out every month and stuff like that. It's just the usual. Um, but yeah, and then I guess that's it for me. I think we've missed one thing out. Surely everyone here read the uh, Naruto Gaiden yeah, finale. Yeah, yeah. Wait, the, the well, the oh, finale sorry. to the current one that yeah, they're doing. They've yeah. done ten, yeah. aren't they? Mm. Which was one of the most horrifically written endings they've done so far. I could not believe that they went back on the plot point of um, yes. like Sakura not being the mum. It was yeah. just horrifically bad. <laughs> they been better off not doing it, and it'd been more interesting. <laughs> it's just one of those things where it's insulting as well because yeah. it was almost as if to say like they went down the powerful storyline yeah. and me i loved it i was like 
Wow, yeah, was, you know, quite good, yeah. adoption. This is brilliant. You know, yeah. people don't have to be blood related. You know, that's an important thing by, you and know, she's, today's she's standards. She's kind of related to Naruto then, like. <laughs> <laughs> but th- then it was just like for him to just flip flop around like that yeah. it, to me it suggested that they pandered to some kind of outside pressure mm. you know just to yeah. do a plot fix right yeah, at the it's end of like oh S- Sasuke uh, Sakura it's like I don't mm. know it gives a shit like it'd be more interesting if it was the other way around like to the point where it's like, yeah, Sasuke still doesn't love her. Like, do you know what I mean? Well, exactly. Like, it would have been, been, been typical good. Sasuke, though, because yeah, he doesn't connect with people better, at all. Yeah. You know, and it's... it's, like, uh, it's it noticed like how bad he's dressed, by the way, in the new series as well. It's like the character designs. Yeah. Like, Naruto looks, you know, like I'm the first one that slags off Naruto usually, but I think his character model looks ace now. Yeah, it does. It looks pretty nice. Cool, like... <laughs> I even and like it, Baruta, the pink yeah. outline on his collar. That's all cool. Yeah, his son's pretty boss, and friggin' uh, the new, like, obviously Hinata, and the daughter looks adorable. Like, <laughs> I think yeah. the what uh, storyline be next, more or less, or is that what they're doing here? Yeah, and is it going to be kind of like a film, aren't they? Yeah, it's it's hard to keep up now, isn't it? So yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. But, is the Serada stuff being relegated? Yeah, that's, funding I think wise, that's all done now. Um, yeah, and then Baruto gets... The movie follows after the ma- this manga that's just happened, I think. Wow. I'm sure they'll turn what's just happened into an anime and extend it a little bit. Because like, yeah. they hinted at stuff, like they hinted at a really interesting storyline again, didn't they? Like, who was that that thing? Like, And then they're just kind of like, oh, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. like, what? And then freaking, uh... Uh, what's his face? Um, Kabuto... It's like, oh, well, I'm in an orphanage. It's like, what? No, oh, that what? was weird, wasn't it? It's like, he's pretty much like, <laughs> I don't know. It's he uh, looked, It looked it's very a... out of character, all yeah, that, to be it's honest. It's very much uh, trying to... T- either he's got a really interesting storyline got- coming on and it's going to carry on, like the Naruto thing is going to carry on, or he's literally just trying to lose type loose ends like he's saying about... Um, God, it's just this yeah, weird yeah. though, isn't it? Because yeah. obviously it's taken so many years of his life to yeah, yeah. do this thing, just to flip flop around at this stage. Yeah. Did you like, read any of that, George? Pardon? <laughs> Did you read any of that uh, Naruto? Uh, no, I I don't scallop. touch anything Naruto. Fair enough. <laughs> 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 I've not. I think the only thing to do with Naruto I've ever watched was like. When I was a kid, I got a magazine that came with the first episode of Naruto on DVD. All right. I think I watched the first episode of it, and then that was it. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. But, um, yeah, so that was a bit... No, I, I mean, I it, it, well, yeah. the worst bit was, though, I, at one point, even though there were, like, the Kabuto stuff and everything like that were kind of like, oh, this is a bit weird, but right until the last two pages, I were ready to kind of go, you know what? This is good, you know. This is like fun to read yeah, yeah. every week now again. And then they did that, and it would just, yeah. it would just like all those years of resentment just piled yeah. back on. She just had a kid in one of my, uh, one of my labs, and was like, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Oh dear. But yes, yeah, so, um, I've, I've watched, I've read, yeah, I read that, and then I guess I've watched a lot of the. I say a lot. I've watched a decent amount of the first episodes of the new season. So I watched Gangster, um, I've watched Ushio Tatora, Gate, Classroom Crisis, Durarara, Charlotte, Working, Gatchaman Crowds, it's fantastic, uh, Rocker, Dragon Ball Super, the, uh, the Monster Masume anime, and I think I'm sure there's another one, but I can't find it. But I've watched a decent amount, and they all seem pretty solid. Like, there's a couple of funny ones in there, which, and there's possibly going to be ones that I'm going to drop after a couple of episodes, like, if the dirt pick up. Um, but, yeah. And I'm also surprised Monster Masume is on Crunchyroll, because that is very, very close to being, like, actual nudity on them characters. <laughs> Jesus. Very close. Um, they don't really care though do they, as long as they're making money no, but Crunchyroll <laughs> usually have a censored version of them and mm. like, I'm serious if you watch that first episode there's a point where I'm like oh that is really close to being yeah a snake uh, 
<laughs> Snake vagina right there on the screen. Um, <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's the point where it's like, obviously they have the point where, do you know where they put like the hair over like the nipples and stuff like that? It's like, she <laughs> must have really small nipples. Like, <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, I'm, I'm going to watch it just for the hilarity of it. Crunchyroll have had some hilarious issues with censorship. Do you remember the, um, oh God, what were it? The funniest one. The Terraformers. Ter- I was going to say Terraformers. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> that was a classic, much, that one. Like a full 10 seconds on it of just yeah. black screen. <laughs> it was like, what? <laughs> Yeah. Black dot, and then eventually they were like it were black dots everywhere. Like, oh yeah. for God's sake, Things just make your mad, mind up. They'd, they'd be better off just doing what other anime do, where they just kind of like cut it off at the the head of the character or something like that, or just so it was off screen and you just saw the blood splatter everywhere. If you know what I mean, and you just saw the blurry. I don't know, you yeah. know. But then <laughs> weird black dots and like yeah. half a screen going off. It's just weird, isn't it? Yeah, you like checking your computer settings. Like I don't get it. What's happened? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, been I've watched a decent amount of stuff. Um I also watched the drama of um Death Note, the Death Note drama. That's Alright. I'm gonna watch that on a side thing, like if I'm doing something else, I'll just have that on, do you know? And, oh, I know, might actually start that. watching that. It's, it's, it's different, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit different. The premise is kind of the obviously the premise is kind of the same. Um the the CG for Ryuk is a bit like bleh sometimes. Have they got it like wrong again? <laughs> no, no, no. It's the same Ryuk, and it looks good, but it's 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 difficult because it's a drama, so they won't have a big budget. If you know what I mean. Mm. So the CG is something that they probably haven't spent that much time on, and you can kind of tell like it's a bit saddening to see. Like he's blatantly, obviously not like in the film. He looks a lot better. Than, mm. The frame rate of him when he's like being animated is really janky sometimes, like when he's talking and stuff. And also the sound effects, like when he eats an apple, it is way too loud and like way too <laughs> unrealistic, like of somebody eating an apple. Um but whatever. It's still interesting and good. Um it's a lot different. It's weird though seeing that light is kind of it doesn't seem like in the manga and in the films and stuff, like, you know, the live action film that they made and everything, mm. and the anime, he's very much like this pretty boy who gets all the girls because he gets at one point he gets girls to do stuff and then kills them, doesn't he? In like the anime, in the anime and the manga and stuff. Um, in this, he just doesn't seem that pretty boy, if you know what I mean. Mm. Uh, and then when it shows you L, I'm like, Jesus Christ, that guy should have played like he looks a lot better. Than, <laughs> than, like, but, um, no, it's it's interesting, and I'm I'm watching it, and it's it's interesting because it's a, it's different as well. Like it's I if it was the same, I would have probably just dropped it straight away. But it is like a little bit different. Like um, Light's mum is dead. So, All right. Yeah, that's already, and it looks like they're barely getting by. Because did you watch? Have you seen the live action films? No, I am not. Uh, they're pretty much. They look like they're living in a pretty cushy house. Like he's yeah. he's in university. Is going to be a, you know, like a police chief. Like mm. his dad is and stuff like that. Whereas in this, it's like his dad, he's always at work because he's he just. I don't think he likes to be at home, and like light is kind of looking after his sister <sighs> and himself, and it seems a little bit more realistic kind of thing. And he's... My only problem with that is that one of the things that made Yagami light was the idea that he wasn't from a poor background. Yeah, resentful. well, I wouldn't say poor, because his dad's still a chief of police. <laughs> mm. But it's very much a... They're trying to suggest by the sounds of it that he's emotionally damaged from what you're saying from events. Yes, kind of, yeah, because there's a point where it's like when he killed somebody and the other things, he didn't really bat an eyelid uh, Mm. eyelid after the first death, if you know what I mean, whereas in this one he's like, he nearly throws up because he's killed someone, like, do you know the real... It did throw up in anime, actually, it did in anime. I can't remember, it's been a while, so I'm probably wrong, but he's still, like, after... Like, but that was kind of it, I believe, wasn't it? Like, after, if that was the case, he didn't He got really... past it very quick. Yeah, <laughs> like, in this, like, after the first couple of, like, he's, after, you know, like, the, the second and the third person, mm. he's still, he feels, he's like, I've killed someone, and he's like, you know, feels, <laughs> makes him feel sick, and then, obviously, 
by the end of it, it was getting into the point where he was writing names down every day. Mm. So it was it was past that point, you know. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. Um, Makes you wonder: should they just not tamper with things like this? Yeah. <laughs> just so, leave the memories. But, um, yes, it seems really good. Um, and I guess we'll probably talk about the new the new series and stuff and what we're planning on watching. Uh, so yeah, are you planning on watching anything, Jamie? You're probably the quickest one to to get through. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Since I lied and told you that um, Haikyuu was coming back this season. Oh yeah. god, don't get me started. Honestly, that would devastate. And I'm there, thinking I'm there. Like Kuroko's basketball's oh, ended. I'm on like a big eye, and I'm thinking, but Haikyuu was just around the corner, so no need to be too sad. <laughs> <laughs> and it so, never uh, arrived. Yeah. Uh, sorry. But, I mean, there's not much that... What surprises me more than anything is that I haven't picked up Durarara. I just right. don't know why, but there's something that doesn't compel me to return at the moment. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I enjoyed the original series and everything, but yeah. just it's one of those things where maybe they left it that long that it's hard to return to, for me, anyway. But like, I think that Gangster is going to be the main main one that I watch every week. I'll watch Dragon Ball Super for nostalgia, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah. But with Gangster, I think you've got the that's definitely looking like it's going to be the you know the anime of the season for. I, d- I don't know if it'll be for a lot of people, but it certainly will be for me. Um, yeah, I think for me it's probably going to be um, at the minute Gacha Man. Um, mm. The first season that I really enjoyed, that was, it's like, I don't know if you want, uh, listen to my list, AMG, but it's like, it's very stylish. I like the art style of it. And I don't know what Gatchaman is, actually. It's, it's different. I never watched, apparently, the original series actually came out in the UK on TV, like, you know, the anime series. Um, <laughs> I don't believe I've watched it. It's like a Power Ranger kind of thing. Yeah. Um, this one, they kind of took a different spin on it, and a lot of people was pissed off about it at the first season because it's like this isn't like the original, like because the um in the original it's like they have like latex suits. In this one, they mm. have like Iron Man kind of suits. Yeah. Um, but I think that's maybe what like gives it's a little bit better because they can design crazy designs and stuff like that. It's like mm. the animation is very clean. Like they do a really good job with it. And um, I just really like just after watching the first episode, like it's like yeah, this is this is what I want from it. <laughs> and uh, to the point where I'm not going as Rin, Okamura Rin, to Comic Con anymore. I'm going as one of the characters from this because <laughs> all I need to do is dye my hair and just buy some clothes, and it's kind of a bit easier. Um, <laughs> but yes, uh, I'm really looking forward to the rest of that season. Um, it's good and it's, it's it's different. It's like a different kind of take on that kind of superhero kind of thing. Um, mm. But yeah, gangster watching that that seems really good. I need the second episode came out the other day, didn't it? So I need to yeah. need to watch that. Yeah, um, I, I enjoy, like you said before, how gritty it is and like how the kind of like. Did you ever watch Yomangand? It's, it's, it reminds me of that a little bit. I watched a few episodes, but I were back when I were reviewing stuff, and to be honest, yeah. sometimes it was just like, oh, God, yeah, right, realize. I've got too much. Yeah. yeah. I really want to watch the second season of that, because it, the first season was good, but I just, it was one of them where it was like, I kind of forgot about it and whatever, but yeah, Gangster, I'll definitely be watching that. Um, yeah, it's a weird one as well. It's like the manga came out of nowhere as well. I'd never even heard of it until it was like Viz Signature. I got one of yeah. them PR emails, and it was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, there's this thing called Gangster, and I, yeah. I just thought, oh, this is weird. It must, maybe it's like not by like someone from Japan. I kind of thought at mm. first, you know, because it seemed weird that yeah. you know I'd never heard of it before, and but I don't know. Yeah, I was gonna say it very much seems like your kind of thing. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jesus. <laughs> Well, no, I mean, in, like, terms of, I don't know, it's weird to explain it, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's typical, enough violence. It's not typical, like, manga and anime, is it? Like, that's, no. that's what I mean, it's not full of fan service and stuff like that. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, um, Shia Tora, 
Um, that's about that. The animation to that is a bit rough, and I think it's because it's quite it's like an older style of animation. It reminds me of like Bleach, like the original mm. couple of seasons of Bleach. Um, it's not a bad thing really, but it just it makes me feel a bit like, queasy. Is probably a bad word, but it just. <laughs> <laughs> it seems dated to be new. Yeah. Like, which I don't quite get. Um, but it's basically about a kid who... He lives at a temple, like, with his dad. And then he's, like, airing out the books or something like that. And he finds this basement. And his dad's always talking about, Oh, our, our ancient ancestors, like, impaled and killed demons with this spear and stuff like that. And we've got to keep... We've got to look after the spear even though they've never seen the spear for like 200 years. I think I've years. heard of this actually. And then I think he, I did see this. He goes into the basement in the book room in the book like out house kind of thing and there's a demon being stabbed like stabbed with this thing. But it's like it's weird because it's like comedy as well. So it's like <laughs> this demon's just like oh let us out. He's like and what am I going to do if like, you let me free? He's like well first I'm going to eat you and then I'm going to eat all the humans in the world and stuff like that. And he's like so this, the main character just acts like kicking the spear even further <laughs> into him. <laughs> so it is, it's actually quite interesting. Um, and I'm definitely probably going to watch it. It's on Crunchyroll anyway, so I'll, I'll watch that. Um, Git, that's... That seems interesting, but at the same point in time, it's like I can see it getting very... It feels like it's come off another one of the back of these, like, sort of online kind of things. Like, it's another take on the story... Um, but it's it's not at the same time but i can just see it being maybe a bit too fan servicey in the later episodes which might be a bit of a killer you know on the whole thing but hopefully not it seems interesting um classroom crisis i'm not going to spend much time on that it's a school slice of life about a guy who transfer student who is going to be transferring into this like classroom full of like specially gifted people like th- that this company like and they're school. all women no, and uh, basically, <laughs> this transfer student is their boss and is coming to shut the school down the air, uh, like, their funding because they're spending way too much, which sounds interesting. Um, and then, obviously, Dorara times 210. I believe that's that looks like what, it, what it's called. Um, is it good? Um, it, is, it's in, it's it is. It's Dorara. Yeah. Like, if you want more Dorara, it's, Dura- it's that. Like, the first season, like, the Dorara season two was a bit, I don't know. I, I can kind of see... Did you watch any of the episodes of the second season? I watched the first one and, like, can, you know, I we're all right. I feel like I get why you dropped off it, if you know what I mean. But this second season seems like it's going to be kicking off, like, pretty mm. big. Um, like, obviously, everything's kind of happened now and it's all going to slowly start kicking off, I believe. Um, I watched Charlotte. That's about a guy who has the ability to... Um, he has an ability to transfer his mind into other people for like five seconds. Mm. Um, so he uses it to try and get into like the best school and stuff like that. And um, then this these people, like this these other kids find out that like, he's doing it and basically get him to transfer to their school, which is for adolescent boys and girls who have special abilities, but apparently they grow out of them after school or something like that. So it's, it's interesting. <laughs> um... And one of the other characters says the ability to teleport, but it looks like he's basically just launching himself into things. So he basically, like, there's a point where he's chasing the main character, and it look, basically looks like this guy, something's just getting thrown at him at, like, super speed, and like, destroying <laughs> buildings and shit, but it's basically just one guy, and he's like, yeah, I've been, I've been put in hospital quite a few times, because uh, I can't find it hard to stop. <laughs> um... I watch You'd blatantly and... abuse that power, though, wouldn't you? If you could put your mind into other people. Oh well, he does. That's that's the whole premise of it. Like for the first like half of the episode, and then <laughs> it's like, yeah, you're gonna work for us. You're gonna work for student council because you've got a really interesting ability which we can probably benefit from. It's like, why should I? He's like, well, if you do it, then we're basically just gonna put you. And it's not prison, but like that. He's got a little sister, so they kind of play on that. Um, I'm watching working. That's slice of life comedy about people who work in a restaurant well i say it, about people who work in a restaurant it's got nothing like that because obviously it's completely unrealistic but it's from the same <laughs> it's the same writer who did um service x servant or seven x service whatever it is and that it's funny it's a decent like comedy like it's well written um 
Watch a Gatchaman Crowds Insight. It's really good. You should watch it. I recommend Gatchaman. Um, it's very stylish and crazy and um, interesting. Gatchaman. It's different. I'm watching Rocker of the Seven Braves or something like that. That seems interesting. Um, it's about a guy, a kid who claims to be the strongest, strongest man on earth, and he me he, he gets oh, uh, <laughs> he kind of like gets chosen by a god. Like this goddess, he kind of is. He's one of the brave six flowers, or something like that. Um, I can't really comment on it. It's basically uh, legend. Say, I'll read the synopsis. Legend says, when the evil god awakens from the deepest, deepest of darkness, a god of fate will summon six braves and grant them with the power to save the world. So that's pretty much like you can kind of guess what's gonna happen. <laughs> and watch Dragon Ball Super. Still not sure if I'm gonna watch it. Um. Well, to be fair, if you don't know the entire storyline, yeah, it's just no going to be weird. I mean, especially since if you're lost and you, you've watched it. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it, it is, it's weird. I don't, I don't think this is really intended to be watched by an yeah, English yeah, audience yeah. just yet. No, I don't either. Um, I very much think when it gets dubbed, it's probably going to be better off. Um, and then Monster Masume, um, that's based off a very etchy manga um monsters they're real and they want to date us three years ago the world learned that happy centaurs cat girls and all manners of fabulous creatures are not merely fiction they are flesh and blood not to mention scale feather horn and fang thanks to the cultural exchange between species acts the what these once mythical creatures now have assimilated in society or at least they're trying to uh yeah it's pretty typical typical anime with monster girls <laughs> in it. that's all i that's literally all i need to say for that and then I want to watch um, God Eater. That seems really interesting. Um, you play the game, or no? But it looks the anime looks good. I watched the trailer for it. Um, the Uharu X Machine Gun, which is one of the titles which um, Viewster have got in partnership with Anime Limited and uh, Yoko Machina Dandelion. That's also one of the titles that they've picked up. That seems really interesting. Um, I don't really know what much about them, but I'll probably watch them, give the first couple of episodes a try. Um, what about you, George? Anything you're looking forward to? Um, the one I'm watching really is Gangster, yeah. Dura, and um, planning to watch God Eater when that yeah. starts, and I'm probably just going to watch a load of older shows that I haven't Yeah, it seems like there's very much this season, there might be a couple of like hidden gems, but um, at the minute, they all seem... There's literally like, let's have a look. There's Godita, which is one. There's Gatchaman, Dorara, um, Gangster. There's probably like four that I'm really looking forward to. And then like, I, I guess working, but that's kind of just, I look forward to that because it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's only like five tiles that I'm, I think I'm going to properly Yeah, it's season. a it's a quiet season. Um, but then obviously there's Chukugeki no Soma. Um gonna be watching the death note and drama that that that's like seven the first ep, like i think the episodes that are gonna be like seven the first episode 70 episodes seven episodes minutes long so that's gonna be like a pretty long thing um when you you gotta commit to like a full 70 ep, minute sit down if you're gonna watch it or just watch it two halves but yeah other than that food wars summer is pretty much the only one that's going to be carrying on for me as well. Um, so yeah, it's pretty pretty slow season, really. Um, there's no doubt there's going to be some which I'm going to watch and drop, probably. But um, it seems the ones that are going to be good are probably going to be really good. Um, the ones that will be bad, I'm sure I'll just be average. <laughs> yeah. How scientific. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I, I think the I, it's just a lot of it looks the same. That's yeah. the problem. You know, it's, it's kind getting, of like I, I'm at uh, a point now where I think I'm I'm struggling to watch certain things because it's like it's not intriguing enough and it's not different. And I think that's the problem now. Like I, I'm hitting the same wall that I have with video games. I'm buying mm. video games but not playing them because I, I don't actually have an interest in playing them and I don't have the time to play them. Like yeah. I've got yeah. to work, and they're just um, kind of uh, a reskin of something you've already watched yeah. before. Yeah, yeah, it's like just slightly different. 
Yeah, it's like gay is very much, it feels like a sword out and line kind of thing, but probably not that, if you know what I mean. Mm. It's just, it kind of feels like it's going to be that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, oh God, I should be tired. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, anyone got anything else to like mention? Uh, <laughs> I guess it's kind of kind of it we've been talking for about an hour and a bit haven't we so it's well about 50 minutes which is a decent sized podcast um yeah definitely plans i know i've bought my comic-con ticket so i'm definitely going in october um i assume you'll be going george yeah i've got i've got um my hotel book just haven't got the tickets yet but i'll be getting this before august i was gonna say because uh three pound cheaper are they (laughs) I think I think, I think it's a fiver. Like, I think is it fiver? I thought yeah. it was like twenty three quid, but yeah, it's, 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 a, lot, it's a lot of mine. <laughs> yeah, um, how long do you have to wait in the queue for these things? Well, oh, not long. Uh, um, yeah, it's pretty good. When long. I got there last year on, in October, I got there on the Saturday, which I assume is the busiest day of the, mm. the weekend. And we got there for opening time, and it was constantly flowing queue. Like we didn't yeah. stop yeah, they, um, once. They're pretty good with that. They they they've improved it a lot. Like in May. 2014, I think it was. I was going to say, you was... going to a lot more of them, weren't you? Because you live in that area, kind of. Yeah, well, I, I, well, I'm on the other side of London, but it only takes yeah. about an hour, 45 minutes to get there. But um, in May 2014, it was horrible. I was in the queue from about 11 to when the for when the doors opened to about 2, 3. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, and, that, and it was a boiling hot day. And yeah, so you yeah. figured you're in this convention hall in this huge queue, mm. um boiling it was oh it was horrible and you're standing the whole time yeah um but then in october they it was a lot quicker and then um for this may the one that just went it was so quick well it's it's interesting as well because they're getting more and more popular like every time they put out the figures it's like yeah we've pretty much we've broken our record again yeah like no they've broken a record consecutively since like last like last year's may i think yeah it's getting a lot more popular i think (laughs) it's (laughs) Thing is, thing he's saying this, but I think Attack on Titan probably helped with that. Like, mm, I'm not yeah. gonna lie, that got a lot of people. I into, think, into I think anime. it was Attack on Titan, and it's all the superhero. Films yeah, the superhero films are really helping. And out. I think one of just... the weird things though about that is like when you think about think about all your visits to these places and comics actual comics yeah wouldn't rank near the top of the things that those no. things oh, are yeah, about. It's like. Yeah. Their comic village is a little bit underrepresented, yeah, yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's, you don't it's see not really Comic Con, is it? Like, at no. it's all anime or just TV exactly. Show it's film. crazy. Mm. Or video games. games, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's like, like um, you, you fart bubble in Leeds. If you if you were talking the real definition of a Comic Con, it'd be um, what you call it fart bubble where they have actual comic creators coming yeah. over and talking and stuff like that well, like but in... over here it's like we've got the cast of red dwarf and they'll charge <laughs> you 10 pounds for their autograph that yeah. you don't want um, and i'm I a was... big red dwarf fan <laughs> <laughs> it's like um oh, it was like hull had a had a hull and humber comic con and like i didn't even know when it was and like like ben mentioned it to me he's like oh yeah that was like on the weekend i was like oh really like they announced that they'd got some comic writer in, and I was like, "Ah, oh, it's pretty cool." But it's like it's literally they have it. They had it in Asylum, which is the um, the club which is on Hull University, and that mm. place is pretty damn tiny. Like, so, <laughs> so that's supposed to be a thing. Like, and it's the same with like they've got this um platform expo, which is supposed to be about video games and stuff, and they've changed it a lot since it first started. So it's not just about mm. video games; it's about the industry like creating them like and then it's expanded to well if we make it like a bigger thing let's have like um fashion we'll put fashion in it as well and then <laughs> they've like done something one. else with it and it's like but it, then it's kind of not the same thing anymore but it's like the second i think it was the second year they did it or the third year it was when i was at university still and they had it at whole university like this platform expert, and it was really interesting because he had the guy from uh, Team Four Star who did does Dragon Ball Bridge. He mm. came and did a talk, and they actually had quite a few different people there who was doing talks. And they had like Mass Effect Three at the time, was it maybe? And they had they had some really interesting stuff there. And then they had it again in like three different areas of Hull last year. Was it last year? I think it was last year. And 
I heard nothing about it. Like, if you're going to do it, you're better off having it in one venue or at least mm. on one campus of... Um, my dad's trying to ring me and I'm not answering it because he's abroad and I'm going to get charged a hell of a lot. Um, <laughs> pull out my phone. He needs your help cast. urgently, and you you didn't want to answer. They wanted, they wanted, me, wanted <laughs> to know if I wanted some knockoff Converse, and I've literally just bought some bought some proper ones. So no, I don't really need any more <laughs> shoes. Um, but yeah, and it's sad, really. But like, they had some people in some pretty decent cosplay at the one that I went to, as uh, mm. people in Gara costumes and stuff like that. But it was actually interesting when I sat down in that Team Four Star chat to how like little anime the, that then kind of people watch it was like they literally just watched naruto and i was like the guy was like oh so what was the first anime you watched and i was like friggin flint the time detective and he's like yes that's a good one i was like yep they held my hands up i was like yeah and it's like he was talking about like other anime i was like yeah i know them i know them i know i've, wa- I've watched that and they had no clue what like what it was and some of them were even that like not well known if you know what i mean and it's like it's one of the things like you call yourself a fan <laughs> but, um... I think the new the like the MCM stuff that they're doing now, even though it has morphed away from being I mean, in all honesty, it's pretty much not about comics, it's yeah, more it's about more like, like anime and, and it's really manga not, now. It's really yeah. not. They'd, be, they'd be better off like changing the name, but I guess that would sully it in some way. People are like, well, well what the hell is this? Comic cons now kind of yeah, like synonymous thing, with yeah. well, yeah, like, even, just random stuff. <laughs> yeah, well even San Diego Comic Con, that's kind of the like it, that is still very much about the comics. Yeah, but, um, yeah. There is still a small part. Well, I'd say a pretty large part of it, which is still about well, all the people go there, don't they, and do um like the anime and manga stuff. But it's like LAX is like the uh, LA Anime Expo mm. is literally a week before. Well, it was last weekend, so it's like they had that where they'll announce all the big like anime and manga things and they'll probably keep a couple for maybe like san diego comic-con so probably going to get a few more announcements maybe like in terms of what this media are probably going to be picking up yeah they've things already like started that. plugging stuff out uh yeah. deb Ioki, if you follow her on twitter she posts literally everything that happens yeah. within anime and manga and mm. when she takes photos of you know like the uh presentations when she's in the halls and stuff and like yeah. she was the one who i think she broke some news about what Kodansha is it Kodansha? Yeah, Kodansha comics. Yeah, what they were bringing out last time oh, when right. just things like that. But, and co- coverage on the, have you heard about the weird stuff going on with um? I need to start reading this. Vagab not Vagabond Saga, um, Vinland Saga. No, it's supposed I don't, to be. A, I don't really know anything about that. Apparently that's the Game of Thrones of manga. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a lot of people. Like, the thing is, I saw someone the other day go, oh, yeah, you know, some people say that Vinland Saga is like Game of Thrones. Yeah. I say it's better than Game of Thrones. Oh, wow, really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I need to start reading that. Uh, apparently, it's just it's weird as well. And if you go into one of these manga shops, you know, like uh, George said earlier, uh, Forbidden Planet, mm. They have these incredible, like, you, you don't buy it in traditional volumes. You buy it in books, and they're wow. massive. They're like... Oh, yeah, I've you know, seen them, yeah, yeah. Yeah, do you remember those Oxford dictionaries the, that the, you could beat yeah, someone to death uh, with? They look like the, them. These big edition, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I need to start reading it, to be honest. Mm. But, yeah, apparently they had some weird uh, licensing problem over here where they had to stop selling it for a month, which is really oh, nice. weird. Yeah, it's odd. But yeah, um, I guess yes. Yeah, so, what are you are you going, Jimmy? <laughs> Go, what I you don't be, know. What I you feel be, like I probably should be at your, this stage. <laughs> what you be? What you be plugging your second Kickstarter? Oof. Oof. Oh, you've still got a lot to work on for that. Uh, it's tricky because I kind of do. Um... See, the the way that I'm kind of thinking right now is. Uh, I've done the one Kickstarter for Queen, and yeah. you know it went well. It went like really well. When you look mm. at how you know a lot of people struggle with the first yeah. one, and you know I, I don't have a very like big comic, like traditional comic, you know, um, American comic following, but the manga fans and things that follow me, you know, they all joined in yourself and yeah. others, you know, and you know that were a nice big surprise. But <laughs> I think the more that you I think the more times a series you 
put it onto Kickstarter, the less likely it is to get yeah. published. That's my kind of feeling right I, now. I do, I do get where you're coming from. Yeah. So I don't really like. I'm, I'm gonna go down the. Try I'm gonna pitch it. <laughs> Indiegogo. <laughs> Try it or just keep swapping between them. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm like. I genuinely believe that my comic could easily be an. You know, like. I nearly slipped up there. It could easily be published, um, you know, by a reputable company. Yeah, you know, I and it'd agree. fit in very well. Yeah, like you've got the team, like you've got the quality about it. Like that's kind of what you, you need, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, and I um, think that by I think if I can just like I think it's gonna what's gonna be more important than anything is how it comes across when it's actually printed when people get yeah. hold of it and if it's like blatantly obvious it's like okay you know this is well put together the storyline's good everything seems to just fit right I think if I could take that to a publisher and I can just say look you know let's be honest it it got past Kickstarter it did yeah. well but there's still far more issues to go and a mm. reprint of issue one, you know, wouldn't, yeah. you know, there's like, whereas it got a lot of money on Kickstarter, uh, in reality, there's still not, uh, you know, a quadrillion reader. So a publisher yeah. can actually still market this and actually make money off of it. <laughs> and that's what I'm sticking to. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yeah, so that's not, uh, who, who are you, uh, who are you going as, George? Because I know you like to cosplay at these things. Yeah, um, I was originally going to go as Lancer from Unlimited Blade. <laughs> nice. But, but no, I've, I've had a change of heart, and I'm now doing a, a project which is going to be pretty tough. I'm doing Gilgamesh in his full Ooh. shiny gold suit of armor. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it in time, but yeah. that is that is the end. Eight for October. That's a fun character. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to be able to make my own costumes and stuff, but I'm gonna go with a simple route. Like, cause like, uh, Josh's sister, like, is she does? She's like a, uh, like a fashion. She does. She's doing like a fashion course at, but like at college, but it's like a university degree kind of thing. Um, and she's actually really good. Apparently, she was entered into like a competition, like for a national thing. Um. And it's just, it's one of the things where, like, he's like, well, yeah, if you give give her the money or the, like, material, she'll do it for you. And it's like, that's pretty awesome. But it's like, I don't, you know, for, like, clubs and stuff, but it's like, I'd feel cheeky doing, like, asking for that unless it was something small. Like, if it was going to, if I was going to cosplay as Rin, all I'd probably ask for was a tail and just go in his casual gear, if you know what I mean. Because <laughs> it's like, I don't, like, you look on the like websites where they sell the costumes and stuff and it's like 70 quid and i'm like it'd be cheaper yeah. just to go in casual gear and maybe just buy his shoes because his shoes look crazy like you're not gonna find them anywhere <laughs> like his boots and but it's at the same time i bought some freaking tooth caps for the fangs but because i had an operation on my teeth and my canines Ooh. are like uh, moved in one so one sec like part of my like my, my teeth my teeth are a bit weird you don't notice it unless you know you're looking but uh, it's like they don't fit on my teeth, so they just fall off instantly. So it's like, oh, well, I can't use tooth caps. Uh, I'll go Sugane from uh, Gatchaman Crowds, kid with blonde hair, like short, <laughs> short blonde hair. He, ca- he carries like a sword on his back, you know, it, in like a with a thing around it, like what Rin does. So that'd be fairly easy to make. Um, and then I could just go casual gear, and I just need to buy the uh, the nut which they use to transform. And they go bed go and transform into the the costumes, uh, yeah. I just go as your gammy light. It'd be easy. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you could easily pull it off. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go as that. And my friend Ben's like, "Oh, well, I might go as Joe," and he's another character from it. I was like, "Well, you're gonna have to dye your hair green and red, <laughs> 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 and you're gonna have to pick up smoking again because he's a chain smoker." And I was like, "Nah, just get candy sticks and just." Eat, you can eat them on the shop on the uh, Xbox floor as well. <laughs> and then I said to Josh, I was like, "It's like Josh, you're gonna have to go as Rui, and uh, it's basically a cross-dressing guy in it." So <laughs> he's like, "No, I'll go as uh, Ut, Ut, oh, what's her name, Utsusu," and she basically just walks around in a bikini all the time. I was like, "Do it." <laughs> <laughs> um, you have to have confidence at these things. 
Yes, but yes, uh, I'm really looking forward to Comic Con now. Book my tickets. Just need to book hotel. Um, probably going to book one which is a little bit further out. Because, yeah, we um, um we we because obviously, I mean, I know I live in London, but it is a bit of a hassle if you want to go to yeah. and from from west uh, yeah, all the way can, to east. So, guess, yeah. um, but we got a um a hotel which is uh it's near City Airport. Right. Um, it's not the travel lodge because we had that last time. That was fully booked. It was, I think, it's a abyss like budget one, yeah. and that worked out at just eighty quid a night. Yeah, I think it's it was. What it was. Looking... All I know is that it was a hundred and. It's from London, Alex. Yeah, keep in uh, mind, it pays extortionate yeah, prices. Well, we was there. Well, that's that's what made it. it's like. What, there's like eight of us going, so it's like right. So we're room sharing. There's like going to be two of us in one room, three of us. <laughs> 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 it's probably going to be double beds, so we're going to have to just top and tail. Stop. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so it's like we was looking at one in Bethnal Green. Um, it was like gonna be like eight quid a night for like two people. So it's gonna be like forty quid a night, which isn't too bad. But it's literally That's like good. we'd be going on the Friday, getting the train Friday morning, uh, going around London for the day, then staying over in a hotel over the night. And then going to Comic Con and then leaving Saturday night, which is rushed. But at the same time, mm. it's like. Hotel prices for a Saturday night in London are goddamn extortionate. It literally doubles. So it's like rather than paying an extra like hundred and forty quid for one that Ooh. like that's what I mean. It was like it was eight last year, it was eighty pounds for one night. And then if we wanted to stay for the Saturday night, it went up to like two hundred and ten or twenty or something like that for two people. That's crazy. In a room. Like for two nights, and I was like, I'm not willing to pay that. Yeah. Like, we're back also, to... I mean, like the ho- the hotel prices for for the hotels that are right next to the XL, which uh, is ridiculous. Like for two nights, know, it was like eight hundred yeah. quid, and it's like <laughs> if we go abroad for that, yeah. we have a nice one week holiday for that. It's... Like, <laughs> so it's like um, we get we leave like London at like eight o'clock at night or something. We get in, get we can be at home for like 10 o'clock 11 o'clock and just being our own oh beds. that's ridiculous so jesus like... if i had to do that i'd be on a mega bus for six hours <laughs> can't you get a train <laughs> oh man you bloody hell i think you're overestimating how much money i make <laughs> well if you get a million enough they're only like 40 quid there and back Oof. i could probably you know i'm thinking about it now i do think that because i know that arch and my partner um, she we, she wants to go to yeah, one she wants to do the cosplay out, thing though because uh, it's like so many weeks in advance at the, at the i think it's like august the first of august or something you can book your train tickets for and if you get in there early enough you know and look at certain times it's really train tickets are really a really weird thing you'd think a return would be cheaper but it's not it's more expensive like crazily expensive um but we was like, so you're better off buying two separate tickets, like a return, a, you know, a inbound and outbound. Because mm. it works out to, like, if you get it cheap enough, it can be like, the cheapest is like 20 quid a ticket. And the, like, last year we paid £50 for our tickets there and back. What Like, the one there was like 20 quid and the one back was like 20, 26 or something like that. Um, which is, you know, like, it's... Like, like expected i get well it shouldn't be it's like you'd think train tickets would be cheaper or like or they'd be like reasonably priced but they're really not like you always see it on the tv and it's like oh 20 pound train tickets it's not that's a lie that is a blunt lie it's just <laughs> trying to get more people to use trains and it's not cheap really unless you've got a rail card where you can get like 50 percent off but rail cards are already like 60 quid and if you're not using yeah, a million more than two or three times a year there's no point in getting one um, i just had to do that myself because i'm off to um the wilderness festival <laughs> like the ocd dream come true um <laughs> at the end of the year <laughs> so if yeah. i actually die you know <laughs> when i go on this thing <laughs> you heard it here first <laughs> <laughs> but it might not have been the best idea now the joke it will be good like i can't wait me it's like it's you go out into um a posh a posh field a posh like mansions estate and oh, you get yeah, to my, adam mentioned that my house makes he's going they're going to leeds and he wanted to go to glastonbury but he couldn't get tickets um uh, so it's gonna be mad i mean they've got capoeira which i'm really excited about and like they've got all these little food things as well. I'm only yeah. taking piss because it's kind of like <laughs> camping's like the OCD yeah. dream come true. But um, 
yeah, I'm really looking forward to Comic Con. There's quite a few that's going this time. Um so it should be more interesting. And it'd be awesome if we could meet up and Yeah, no, definitely. Have have a bit of a chat and stuff. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. I'll try I'll try and get down for like I'll try and get yeah, into yeah. but when is it again? So uh, it, the last full it... weekend it's like twenty fourth, fifth and sixth or something like that. Is that August or uh October. October. I think it's I think this time it's actually mm. is it on the twenty third? I think yeah, it might be. Well, the day that I'm going on might be the 24th. Yeah, look. Saturday's the 24th. It starts mm. on the Friday the 23rd, I think. Yeah. Um, if if I was going, like, maybe by myself or something, I would probably... Like, I'm at a point where I'm still not 100% confident with my driving. So if I could, I would probably, like, drive down to London because it might work out cheaper. Mm. If I think... Maybe if you would was, have um, congestion was... charge though if you went. Well, yeah, but you just stay just out sorry. of it, don't you? Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know. I'm not and not my car is quite eco-friendly. Like taxis on, I've just got a new car, so taxis on like thirty quid on it for a year, which is freaking crazy compared to one hundred and forty what I was paying in my old car. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I think we're pretty much done talking, aren't we? <laughs> Alex needs to go. <laughs> I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten anything since dinner time. Um, we'll let you go, Alex. Don't worry. My, my friends are downstairs playing rock band, and I feel left out at the minute. <laughs> I can hear the drums. <laughs> um, but you yeah, go be who you need to be, Alex. To, to be fair, we've it's, it's been doing this, doing it for like an hour and a bit. It'll be interesting to see in a couple of do another one in maybe like another month's time. Um, it's like a bit of views and stuff like that because it's always interesting to see if we've watched anything and if we've the ones that we've dropped because <laughs> that's usually the case and it's like oh well it was shit so we just yeah the complaining's it. more fun than the yeah. review <laughs> and I'm sure at that point like it, there hasn't really even considering it's been the Comic Con was like two months back now Jesus Christ yeah it was that longer there hasn't really been any news for us to comment on like Anime Limited haven't really done anything bad recently <laughs> so uh, <laughs> keep it up guys I guess yes, come on Andy thing. you're letting us down if here. we're not complaining about you uh, well come on now let's be honest I think Alex is lying a little bit there because we still haven't got May May Miracle <laughs> oh yeah I actually was going through my kickstarters the other day I was like oh shit yeah back that <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's that. Um, I <laughs> recently got the Killer Kill Three came out, so I got the box, <laughs> and that looks awesome. I yeah. got uh, volumes uh, one, two, and three in the fancy box that came with it. Um, I know that got delayed because <laughs> apparently the box was too small to fit all three volumes in it when they uh, had it. <laughs> really? Sale, when they had it for sale at Comic Con, so they was like, "Yeah, if you buy it at Comic Con, we'll give you a refund. Like, you have to send it back to us, but make sure you send it back within the week, otherwise you're not getting a refund." <laughs> <laughs> oh, the brand, I love them. Me like um, now, it's like you've got past the point of hating them to the point where it's just like comedy gold. Yeah, I I can't hate them because I feel like they're trying to do a good job. And <laughs> they're just unfortunate. They're having unfortunate like occurrences. <laughs> um, Animatsu seems to be doing pretty good as well. Like, uh, the I know it's pretty much just Manga UK with another name slapped on it, and I feel like the logo is very poorly made they could have done something a lot better than that um, they're all obsessed with this playmobil style logo making art though where it looks yeah. like you know kids company don't like it it's literally like they're, it's like they're just a smiley face but they've chopped a bit off and stuck it at the end of the, <laughs> at the other end of it so it looks like an a and I don't, animatsu they're I gonna don't, be the ones that like give the us names, stuff to complain the name's about. fine on. the name's fine it's just your logo like you could have done something so much more creative like i saw the smiley face on someone's air freshener and I was like oh well if they just like chops that little bit off of that that's, that's the face it would look like in here it's just like come on guys and stop they plastering were, uh, on everything at Comic Con they were sell- selling mugs and t- I know I saw they had mugs and t-shirts and like stop just, doing like, a I, freaking I was and I was just like what are you doing like you've got like one release yeah. that no one knows who you are it's not even a good logo <laughs> no it's not I don't like the logo like that's the one thing that I could grill them for it's like you like a shit and just walk away from the booth <laughs> let's just move to america and just buy yeah. this media stuff that's the way yeah. <laughs> i really wish they'd like put a bit like came across here but uh, i guess 
licensing stuff in the UK seems a, well in the EU seems a lot harder than it is in America. I guess mm. that's come to the point where it's like I guess UK is a lot smaller, so they can put a bit more restrictions on that kind of thing. Whereas in the US, they have that many laws and regulations; it's easy just oh, to throw it out there. Yeah, Madman's the other one that mm. yeah, we moved to Australia. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're still... Are they partnered up with um, Manga UK? I think they've... I think they've stopped nowadays, haven't they? That's why... Uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I've heard, though, I'm sure someone told me that we can actually buy Australian releases and the work over here. Yes, they do, because it's the same region. And, and the UK is stuff earlier. Yeah, because I know that... Um, I uh, don't know, isn't it? That Scott Emo one two six or something on Twitter. He bit like, imports loads. He must do it for work or something. Because he always he seems to spend so much money on <laughs> on video <laughs> games, and and I think he reviews stuff, so that's probably his his business. Um, but like he imports loads of stuff, and like he seems selling it on a uh, eBay like two or three weeks later. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh yeah, I got just our victory verses. Any good? No, don't buy it. Right, <laughs> I was thinking about getting it. Um, <laughs> no, don't. I, I regret buying it. Um, apparently, it's an upgraded version of the game which came out in Japan. And if that's an upgraded version, then Jesus Christ, that first game must have been like horrible. Spent like, all the money on licensing. The music they couldn't get across. So all the mu- if the, in the Japanese version they have let's have out in Japan. They have all like music from the animes and stuff like that. Mm. In this version, they don't have it. They kind of have like rip-offs of it. Um, when you get in game, two-player, like co-op. Like, well, it's not really co-op. Cause you're fighting against each other. They uh, on local co-op. They cut the screen, so it's literally you know like you got widescreen. You'd think it'd be yeah. like, just two sides. They literally put two giant like blocks on the top and bottom of the split screen you can't change it to be a vertical either like it's just horizontal oh. and they put two blocks on the top and bottom so you've literally got like a, i've got like a 55 inch tv you've literally got like a 20 inch thing on either side of the tv <laughs> to play the Crazy. game on <laughs> it's horrible um the audio is really odd like when you're in game like when you're fighting like, the audio seems muffled, like, as if they couldn't get the actual proper audio files for the characters. Mm. I mean, it's a f- it seems quite fun, but it got boring really quickly. Like, um, I was playing it, like, you get literally, like, three characters straight away, like, well, four, pretty much, or five, I don't know. You get, like, Ichigo, Goku, Luffy, Naruto, Torika. Um, I was playing as Luffy, and my friend just <laughs> kept spamming, um... My friend just kept spamming Goku's Kamehameha, and I couldn't get anywhere near him. Like, Good and it's lad. just like, what's <laughs> the point? Like, it's not even like balanced. But I don't know. It's um, it was fun for an hour, <laughs> and then it got a bit gritty. Like, I guess the only plus side of it is I got it for free, kind of. So, um, see, I'd po- well, I say I got it for free. I ended, I got points from game that I spent on mm. it so I guess it's kind of a bit of a waste of them but oh well um, that's that um, Anime Limited is distributing Mobile Suit Gundam 2 The Origin Part 2 which comes out pre-orders are on September 15th so that's probably coming out fairly soon we'll probably do a podcast on that again um, yeah give it a go look forward to that um, just seeing if there's anything else really I think that's pretty much it um, yeah you go play your rock band I'm gonna go uh Think what am I gonna do? Oh, I've used to have added another series, uh, Nia Seven or something like that. I don't know. No idea. Yeah, same. But yeah, um, I guess this is a point where we uh, shill ourselves out. So, George, where can we find you? Um, just on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. uh, pretty much it. Uh, I'll probably gonna change my name again. I don't know. I don't know what to stick with at the moment. I thought Infamous <laughs> George were good. Yeah, Infamous George. Oh infamous my god, that's good. Yeah, Why like... didn't you, like, surely I... that was quite I... thingy to get? I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like a change, but I don't know. Find me on Twitter. I'll put it in tweet. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about you, Jamie? 
at Jamie Me Writes on pretty much every platform, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And if you check out my new website, jamiemee.com, you can check out some of the cool images that are coming out of my comic queen, all the uh, like the packaging and things that I'm going to be sending out in August. Mm. Spoiler, my comic comes out in August. <laughs> awesome. So there you have it. It's pretty damn soon as well. I bet you're working your butt off at you. Oh, yes. I'll be probably <laughs> doing that after I've finished up here. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and I should usually find me at Alex D. Tans. Just Google search Alex D. Tans, you'll probably find me. Um, and on YouTube, you're probably watching this on there because I still haven't got my uh, website set up to do RSS feed. So I there's a <laughs> podcast. I'll get there eventually. Like, I. My shifts are changing soon, so I'm going to have like literally two days off in a row, so I'll probably, I'll probably be a bit more productive, and I really want to start playing video games, but my computer's bust, so I can't even do that now, so it's like, for fuck's sake. Um, just when I was actually going to, I was going to start recording some J-Stars, um, but I don't know if I probably should, I might just wait until end of August when um, One Piece Part Warriors 3 comes out, I've already pre-ordered that on Steam, so um, look forward to that. But I'm also buying it on PS4 because I want the Doflamingo statue. Um, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, thank you for listening. Um, let us know in the comments below uh, what any manga or anime you're watching. Also, sorry this didn't come out live. I was going to live stream it, but things went horribly wrong. And XSplit wouldn't let me connect to my YouTube account. It might be just because it's already licensed and connected on my other computer because i'm doing this from a laptop but all in all it kind of went well just started half an hour late (laughs) (laughs) Um, but yeah thank you for listening and i hope you'll listen to the next one as well so see you later